just hit record then realized I forgot to put my earrings in. Um, no. Okay, I can't even see the earrings. <laughs> that is a little bit better. I feel more put together. Hello, my beautiful friends. Welcome back and thanks so much for watching. Today, I'm actually doing a requested video. Um, some of you guys have asked to hear my Christmas wish, my crit, okay. Whoa, my Christmas wish list. I know words. And it's a very boring short list. It's the most adult boring things ever, but I'm going to share it with you guys. So everything I actually am asking for slash going to probably buy myself is going to be linked in the description bar below just in case you maybe want to add it to your last second list. Um, and don't forget to go ahead and click the subscribe button if you are new here. We can be internet family and let's go ahead and get started. Okay. So, um, this is really boring. And when I say that I'm going to buy myself these things, my husband and I actually asked everyone who said, what do you want for Christmas? Just to get us something off of our baby registry. It's just easier. We put a ton of stuff on there and a lot of people have actually been sending us stuff already. And we're like, okay, well we didn't expect this, but thank you. And so we just, in order to make sure we like can get all the stuff off of our registry, um, we did just ask for some of it for Christmas. So, I will probably buy myself a lot of this stuff because it's actually just things I've been wanting and like they go on deals this time of year, so like why not? The first is an acrylic calendar for our family. I haven't decided if I wanted to get, I think I'm gonna get like a weekly one because I feel like mine and Sam's dynamic works better on a week by week basis as far as schedule goes uh, versus a whole month. That's just a whole lot. So I really want one of the acrylic calendars that you can find off of Etsy. Um, and I like one of the ones that says this week. I don't know if I want one that says like Robinson family. So that's why I haven't purchased myself that yet is because I know I want it for our home, but I don't know quite what kind. Um, if you guys have like a weekly or monthly calendar in your home that is acrylic from Etsy, let me know below like what you like about it. But I just know like bringing a baby into our lives in 2022, we already struggle to communicate our schedules or like he forgets because he's a man and he does not listen. I want to make sure that, you know, we are communicating correctly and he understands the schedule. So I want to get one of those this year. Another item I really want, this is so boring, is a steam mop. <laughs> but when you're an adult, you know there is nothing like a good cleaning tool. Um, I really love our Eufy vacuum and I know that they make like Eufy mops, but to me, I don't love the thought of something just free rank because like the UV vacuum will kind of sometimes like get itself stuck and it'll just like keep vacuuming the same thing over and over again. I don't love the idea of that in a mop. I don't even, I don't like the, the I don't like the mop ones. So I think I want a good steam mop. Um, I've done some research. I have it narrowed down to a couple. I am waiting for one of them to go on sale because I think it will in December. But yeah, this is 26 steam mops for Christmas. Another one I want is tinted windows for my car. So random, but my car has zero tint. And I, it wasn't ever something I like thought was a luxury to have tint in your car until I really, I mean, honestly, one day I was driving my husband's and I was like, God, his car is so much cooler than mine. And it was cause it was just like a midsummer day. And I was like, oh, it's cause he's got tint on all of his windows and mine has zero. And I think, I just want to add tint plus having a baby. I definitely want to make sure like he has tint back if anything. Um, but yeah, like you can see through my car. Like you can be in a parking lot 10 feet away from my car and you can see if someone's in my car. And it's just like very invasive too. Like my car's not dirty. I don't keep anything in my car, but I don't know. I just don't like it. So window tent. It's on the list for 2021's Christmas. Another item is another organization thing. So I really wanted, slash I already purchased um, a new custom planner. So in college, I get asked sometimes like how I stay organized. I actually have been horrible about it lately. Um, I just kind of let that all go. I think 2020 really kind of threw us all for a loop and we would make plans genuinely not knowing if we would even like they would get to follow through. Um, and I remember like at work, there was like, we had all of these huge installs, literally the week everything shut down. And I was so excited for these installs because I'd worked so hard on the projects and the companies called us and they were like, we only want X amount of people to install these projects. We don't want any excess people. Um, you know, so only so many people in the building at a certain time. We want them to all wear PPE. 
and so that was like a really bummy moment but because I worked so hard on that project and I wasn't going to get to see it through to the end but definitely something I understood and I think from there I just like it was it felt like every single time I would make a plan whether in my personal life business whatever it just did not come through the way I wanted it to so I was like screw it I'm gonna stop writing things down and so um I actually purchased a golden coil I believe is what the, yeah it's golden coil it is a completely custom planner I, I'll put their link in the description bar but it's fully customizable to you so it's 242 pages you get to pick 100% of what goes into it. So I can't remember exactly what combo I did. I know I did like a, I wanted a yearly overview in the beginning. I know I wanted weekly overviews with lines. And then I think I also put a social media calendar separate um, in there. And I think I also put something about budgeting in there, but I got a completely custom calendar because my goal is to go back to like time blocking and being really, really organized. Because again, bringing a baby into our lives in 2022, Sam and I are going to have to communicate not just for he and I and our schedule, but also another human who can't communicate his own schedule. So um, that's something I want to kind of get better about because I did it in college. And that was like, that was how I survived college was time blocking, time management. And I already got in my little colorful pins. I shared these the other day. Um, on Amazon. I bought them from Amazon and they came in and this is how I would do it um, is I would every like class for, in college every class got a different colored pen. I would take my syllabus at the beginning of the semester and I would write through every single assignment that I had for the whole semester in that colored pen for that class. So I kind of after a couple weeks I was like okay this one's for you know 3D rendering. This one is for my space planning course. This one's for my electrical course. Um, and so after a while I knew okay purple that's electrical. Blue is for space planning and that could kind of help me just stay organized and know what was going on. Know what was expected of me. Know what was coming. And while obviously there isn't a syllabus for the year that we don't just get those. Um, I definitely think it will help me feel more organized to have like my life color coded and the baby have a color and me and Sam have our own colors and you know social media kind of have its own thing and that's kind of a big goal of mine in 2022. Get more organized again. And then the last one um, is actually something I want to buy myself as like a, an accomplishment present. Um, I really want the Louis Vuitton scarf that I have seen online. It's just out of stock everywhere. I've looked in at the Real Real and also Fashion File um, to buy it secondhand, but this one particular one is out of stock. But I want to buy that because I had set so many goals for myself this year and I worked so hard to meet every single one of them and I also passed them. And I saw a girl talk about this one time. She said someone tried to make her feel bad for buying herself something. I can't remember what it was. Um, and she was like, no, do not make someone feel bad. Like you don't tell someone how they spend their money. If someone wants to buy themselves something because they accomplish something, whether it is a milkshake or, you know, I think hers might've been like a Cardi love bracelet. It was like, it was really high end. Um, she was like, don't make them feel bad about that. I definitely am a believer that people should celebrate their accomplishments. And I was like, that is so true. And so I did it last year. That's, I bought myself the Dyson um, Airwrap at the end of the year as like, I met my goals for the year and it felt so good. And so to me and pass all of my goals that I set for myself at the beginning of the year, it feels absolutely amazing. And so I really want to buy that as like a, an accomplishment, like you did it gift for myself at the end of the year. So that's really it up, apart from that. Like there, we, nothing. Sam had the most difficult time coming up with a Christmas list for me. Um, I had a difficult time coming up with a list for him because all of these things that I want, it's like I have to personally have my hand in them for them to be gifts. So like I need to pick out the tint and how dark I want it on my car. Um, Cause I don't think I want it as dark as they'll allow legally. I think I still want it a little less. I have to pick out what kind of calendar I want. I had to pick out my golden coil, like personal custom planner. So, you know, whatever. I got this request, figured it'd be a fun little video. So let me know in the comment section what is on your Christmas wish list this year, no matter how adult it may be, even like a freaking steam mop. But love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that I see you in my next video.